This video segment continues our examination of transportation with a focus on electric and hybrid vehicles followed by an introduction to biofuels. Its major points are, number one, battery technology limits the amount of energy that an electric vehicle can carry and thus its speed, range, and recharge time. Number two, at current gasoline prices, an owner may not be able to recover the additional capital costs of hybrid power plants over the life of the vehicle. Number three, modern engines have the flexibility to combust mixtures containing biofuels. Number four, biofuels are not neutral with respect to greenhouse gases because their production and use deviate significantly from 100% efficiency. A new car dealership recently opened and soon closed in Davis, California. What distinguished this enterprise from the six others in the Davis Auto Mall is that it sold only electric automobiles and scooters. This dealership offered two brands of electric automobiles, each of which cost about $12,000, used lead-acid batteries, and had a top speed of 40 miles per hour, a range of 25 miles, and a recharge time of about 8 hours. These specifications highlight the problems with electric vehicles. Battery technology limits the amount of energy that a vehicle can carry, and thus its speed, range, and recharge time. Lead acid batteries are inexpensive and reliable, but they are heavy and have a low energy and power per size and weight. Currently, there are several other commercial highway-ready electric vehicles. One is the Tesla Roadster. For a purchase price of $100,000, this electric-powered sports car has a top speed of over 130 miles per hour, and an acceleration from 0 to 60 in 4 seconds and a range of over 240 miles. This vehicle is equipped with 6,800 lithium ion cells, each about the size of an AA battery. Together they weigh 992 pounds and have a service life that should extend beyond 100,000 miles and cost more than $30,000 retail. Recharge time is as short as 4 hours with a special non-mobile charging unit. Electric vehicles, despite their limited range, long recharge times, and high costs, have advantages over other types. Electric motors often achieve 90% conversion efficiency. Electric vehicles themselves emit no greenhouse gases. The power plants that generate the electricity to charge the vehicles may produce greenhouse gases, but large power plants are far more efficient than small engines and may enlist carbon capture and storage technologies. Electric vehicles usually recharge at night during the slack hours for electric power grids, and thus may not strain current generating capacities. Electric motors provide high torque over the full range of speeds, therefore they do not need gears or torque converters. All the components in an electric vehicle operate at temperatures near ambient. Electric vehicles require much less maintenance than gasoline or diesel vehicles, typically only the tires and brakes need regular service. Most electric vehicles incorporate regenerative braking in which the electric motor driving the wheels also serves as a generator, which helps stop the vehicle by converting the kinetic energy of the vehicle into electricity that recharges its batteries. Petroleum electric hybrid vehicles combine the desirable properties of electric propulsion with the portability and convenient refueling of petroleum fuels. Most of the locomotives and many of the ships built during the last 50 years are diesel-electric hybrids. In such vehicles, a large diesel engine turns a generator that recharges batteries, which in turn powers small electric motors connected directly to the wheels or propellers. This arrangement operates the diesel engines under the uniform loads and low revolutions per minute that optimizes their fuel efficiency. It also eliminates the need for complex drivetrains between an engine and several wheels or propellers. Finally, isolating the diesel engine's vibration from the frame of a locomotive or hull of a ship leads to a much smoother and quieter operation.